So, what's it gonna be, fellas? I'm with you, Sarge. Count me out. Looks like it's just you and Miro. Let's do it. South Carolina Army Radio Network. We'll be right back. Four of a kind. Beaten by a flush. <laughs> Maybe next time, fellas. Coming to Papa. Wait, you're cheating, Sonny. I don't know how, but we're gonna find out. Maybe you should work on your poker face, Moss. And if you took off your glasses, I wanna see your cards in the reflection. Back to work, fellas. Can't let the Viet Cong get any advantage. We're in the hills of South Carolina. There ain't no Viet nothing for 9,000 miles. Benny, don't let that get you too comfortable. Sonny. What's up this time? This place, it's nice enough, but I don't want to be here. I can see living here someday, but not now. Our families think we're fighting in the jungles of Vietnam, but here we are, sitting on top of a hill in South Kakalaki, US of A, baby. It's better than being shot at. It's not like we're not doing anything up here. People rely on us. We're, we're basically weathermen, Earl. Still, it's better than being shot at. <laughs> Sonny. Yeah? Sonny. Sure do. So this is the water heater. Uh, is that mold? I think that's mold. Anyways, so the house does come with some quirks. Um, the switch labeled kitchen actually controls the upstairs bedroom and the switch labeled basement controls this room apparently. So what are the schools like in the area? Um. To be honest, they're not the best. They're a little sketch. Uh, actually, they're, they're very sketchy, but good news is you'll have a great house to homeschool. <laughs> I'm gonna have to think about it. I'll give you a call. Yeah, I'm gonna think about it. All right, Ellie, let's go. It's your turn to present this week. What? Does this affect our earnings? Uh, it doesn't, it doesn't. <laughs> um, let me go through this for you. So, over the past year, our earnings have increased, which is a good thing. Um, and over the past five years, our profits have grown exponentially. And here you can see uh, each of our individual standings from the company. And where do you stand? Him right here. <laughs> I guess you are the one affecting our earnings.
I didn't think it was that Jeez. bad. Jeez. <sighs> what? The presentation. I didn't think it was that bad. You weren't the one standing up there. Well, your hair looked nice and your shoes are fabulous. You gave me these shoes, actually. Oh, yeah. Hey, can I borrow them this weekend? Sure. Hey, Ellie. Nice standings. Thanks for sharing. I need a change. What? You don't like them? The shoes are fine. No, not the shoes. I need a change at the office. I don't know where I fit in here. Or anywhere for that matter. Well, wherever you go, take me with you. My husband is literally being the worst right now. Always having to give his cats and can you hold that? I didn't know the weirdest thing was that it was just this loud, wet disaster. That never happens. I don't understand that. Disappointment. I'm sorry? Care to explain why you don't do as well as everyone else? Sometimes when I'm stressed... To tell you the truth, you don't seem to be the right fit for this company. The only thing you have going for you right now is the Smith deal. Ellie, I think you're way too honest with the clients. But I don't want to misrepresent this company What you either. need to worry about is not representing this company at all. Miss Washington, I don't want to lie about the houses that I'm selling. How could that possibly look good on this company? No one said anything about stretching the truth to our lawyer clients. Well, what's the difference? Real estate is all about the details. The fewer, the better. Think back when you got your house. Here's what we're going to do. You are going to Atlanta. Atlanta? There's a real estate and development conference, and I want you to be our representative. Make some contacts, find some land. I'm not going to Atlanta. I mean, what would I even be doing there? Most of your duties will involve giving presentations on our monthly earnings. I just did that in front of 20 people and failed, miserably. And now you want me to go to Atlanta, do that in front of hundreds, and be humiliated again? So you will improve next time, right? I can't go to Atlanta. You know I'm way too busy here. Here's what you're going to do. Go to Atlanta and represent our company. You'll speak in front of an audience. You're going to put yourself out there. Don't try to tell me it's going to be okay. I'm trying to put on a brave face for my family, work, here. Hell, I'm even lying to myself when I'm saying it's going to get better. It's, it's all, it's all a big why? Why? And the longer I put on this front, the worse I feel. <sighs> She's in a better place now. T take it one day at a time. <laughs> no! I don't want to hear any of those bumper sticker slogans. I... I didn't see the truck. I didn't see the truck. Why the hell was it stopped in the middle of the lane? I should have... I should have swerved faster. I should have swerved faster. My oh, sweetie, we're all here for you. I can't imagine going through that with a sibling, someone you've known your entire life. I was only with my wife for two years before she passed. Charlotte, can we all just stop for a second? Put yourself in her shoes. I think that we can be just a little bit more compassionate for her. Charlotte, 
What can the group do for you? Be prepared for those bumper sticker slogans, because they don't ever stop. Do I get a bigger bumper, or just drive away? Yeah. That'd be nice to just drive away from my problems. My husband died about a year ago, and I didn't even know where Afghanistan was on a map. I do now. People tell you that time heals everything, but I'm still waiting. That's comforting. Maybe not, but it's the truth. <sighs> Just gotta keep going. What keeps you going? Right now, my job, which I'm very close to losing. But I think coping is just a means of distracting yourself until it stops hurting. I don't know if that makes sense or if that helps, but. No. Hey, sis. 
Gotta make this quick. I'm going to a meeting. Sorry to bother you, Mr. Important Sergeant Man. Haha, <laughs> you're very funny. What do you want? So... I'm on my way to Atlanta for the weekend, and I know we had plans, but if I don't go, I basically lose my job. Actually, I was going to say the same thing. Um, we're cutting bases all throughout the East Coast, and it's kind of all hands on deck. Sounds like fun. Yeah, it isn't. But that's what a pilot in the Air Force does. Oh, so now you're a pilot? Yeah, I take files, and I pilot over here, and I pilot over there. You are literally the worst. I actually gotta go, sis. Bye. Oh, tell mom I said hi. These are the last files, ma'am. Langley Ping Pong Palace. Shut it down. Lackland Boot Camp Ice Cream Shoppy. Shoppy. Shop. Two P's and an E, right? Shop. Shut it down. Area 51 Snack Bar. Area 51 Snack Bar. Keep it. Raven Rock Radar Station. Raven what? High Frequency Active Auroral Research Program? Cloud seeding? Was never signed for disbandment. Let's give him a call, find out who's up there. No answer. Who was in charge up there at Raven Rock? A Sergeant Rainey, R-A-N-E-Y, ma'am. What was his first name? John. That phone hasn't rung since... 1975. It was supposed to be decommissioned. John B. Rainey, Denver, Colorado. Now, why are we looking at it? John Q. Rainey, San Francisco. It never got signed. Who cares? No. Something fell through the cracks on this. That radar station could be sucking up electricity and dumping radio waves onto a nearby town. John C. Rainey... South Carolina? What else is in that file? There's nothing from HQ or the Pentagon. It's just all redacted forms. Wyoming? Wait, what was that one before Wyoming? Straight to voicemail. You're not going to leave a message, ma'am? This is a game of chess. We don't want them to know our next move. Somebody needs to go down there right away and figure this out. Might need to sacrifice a pawn on this one. Their 42 Delta form was never filled out properly. Someone needs to talk to this John Rainey and get everything sorted out. Son, there's a storm coming to Rainey. And you're the thunder. Need some help, ma'am? No, thanks. I'm good. Thank you so much for tuning in to Rainy Today. And now let's check in with Rivers Bottom to get a look at our seven day forecast.
Good morning, rainy Carolina. This is your favorite weatherman, Rivers Bottoms, here to tell you your forecast. As it's always raining, you see we've got a cold front coming in from the east. It's going to make it more rainy here. That's no surprise. Take a seat anywhere, darling. I'll be with you on the jet. We're still stuffing breakfast, darling. I'll be back with you in a minute. Just passing through. Hmm? You're not from here, which means that either you're just passing on through, or you're visiting someone. Um, neither, actually. My car broke down, so I'm stranded here, at least until tomorrow. Oh, huh. so you met Ned the Creeper, right? Yeah, I almost <laughs> reached for my pepper spray. <laughs> Where are you from? Uh, D.C., you? Born and raised in rainy. Really? That's nice. It's beautiful here. Yeah. It is. If you're up for it, I can give you a tour. Uh, thanks, but I don't plan on staying much longer. All right. So, um, how was life growing up in the big city? Um, it's okay. I mean, kind of been looking for a change of scenery for a while now. You know, I'm actually supposed to be going to Atlanta right now, but I'm not sure I want to go anymore. What's there? Chance to redeem myself. Big time city realtor. Ah, so it wasn't your plan to come here. Hey, Katie, coffee at the booth, please. Will do, Sunny. Uh, no, not really. Maybe everything happens for a reason. What can I do for you? Uh, I don't know. What, what do you recommend? Eggs, sunny side up with bacon. Sounds good. That guy. Oh, you don't know the town war hero, do you? No. Sure, you okay? How much time do you have? <laughs> Sunny up eggs and bacon. I'm just bitter. Because my husband died. That man you saw was his dad. He was a war hero in Vietnam, but he can't even take care of his own family. What happened? I don't know. But they gave me a check and an American flag, and that's supposed to make everything all better. It doesn't help that my daughter looks so much like his son. I can't even look her in the eye. I can't stay in Rainy anymore. This town is toxic with all its secrets, and I can't keep them anymore. Where would you go? I don't know, but my bags are packed and I'm leaving tomorrow. Look, I get it. I mean, that's kind of why I'm here in the first place. But everyone has secrets. And if he's your only family... Sarah then... is my only family now. If he wanted us to stay, he would try harder. It's been six months, and I'm trying to forget everything. I'm kind of figuring out that you can't just run away from your problems. I mean... My husband died over a year ago. And I'm 400 miles from home. I still think about him. Ms. Harrington. So 
worse than I thought. Your battery's kaput. You need a new starter. Got one coming in tomorrow from Greenville. I'm gonna have it ready for you by noon. Great, thanks. You're staying the night. You might want to head down the street and pick yourself up an umbrella. Guess I'm staying the night then? As you can see by the map behind us, it's raining right now. So if you don't have an umbrella, get to the Rainy Umbrella Factory and buy one today. Tell them Virginia and Dakota Ferguson sent you. All right, thank you so much, girls. That was a wonderful little thing you've got. And remember, if you want to be a guest forecaster here at the station, just visit our website or give us a call. Hello? Do you have something to tell me, Miss Harrington? I don't think so. I called the hotel in Atlanta, and they said you hadn't checked in yet. Why aren't you there? I know, my car broke down in South Carolina, and it probably won't be fixed until tomorrow. Ellie, you are already on thin ice. I don't want to hear any of your excuses. Miss Washington, when have I ever given you an excuse? And it's true, rainy South Carolina. You can look it up. I think I will. By the way, the Smith deal the one you put together is starting to fall apart. What? How did that happen? Put it this way. If things don't get better, heads are going to roll. You should talk to Janice about it. Ellie. I understand your situation, but I hope it doesn't affect your performance. All right, we are going to be having rain the rest of this week up until Friday. It's not interfering with anything. Got it all under control. I hope so. But if you don't get to Atlanta by tomorrow, and especially if the Smith deal falls through, you are fired. It's raining right now. I can look out the window and it's raining. But yes, thank you so much for tuning in. It's not raining. Uh, we'll take it back to Miss Rainey today. Thank you so much. <sighs> Disgusting. Hey, stranger. What are the odds of seeing you back here again? <laughs> One in a million, I guess. I didn't get your name from the other day. Ellie. Travis. Uh, so I thought you lived here. Why the motel? Uh, f House is under renovations right now, so I had to bunker up here till they're finished with it. Well, uh, if you ever need a realtor, help you find a place. It's kind of my thing, so. I'm gonna take you up on that offer. <sighs> so, how I'll long are you saying? You first. One to two weeks. You? Uh, I was actually on my way out of here. Because uh, if I don't get to Atlanta, I'm fired, so. Well, it's too bad. I would have liked to go out, you know, get a bite to eat, talk some more. Rain check? Sure. Not going! Get in the car. No, I'm not. Get in the car, Sarah. I'm not going! Hey. Sorry? Wasn't that the same woman from yesterday at the diner? Yeah, I, I talked to her for a bit. I think she's going through some things. I wonder what happened. I don't know. This town is strange. today in western South Carolina features intense thunderstorms followed by a couple days of scattered showers. There's an advisory flood warning for residents in the following areas. Anderson, Greenville, 
Greenwood, Laurent, Rainey, Greer, McCormick, Edgeville, Aiken, Lexington, Spartanburg. What the hell? Washington, are you there? What is it, Ellie? More excuses for me? No, no. I think I'm onto something here. This town, rainy. I think it'd be a great place to develop some residential communities, maybe even some commercial sectors if we can swing it. Why would investors be interested in a gas station town in the middle of nowhere? Perfect weather. What? This place has perfect weather. I'm not kidding. Fresh air, it's beautiful, great people. Doesn't mean people want to live there. Look, this town is built on the promise that it's either raining or it's going to rain. And it hasn't even rained once since I got here. How do you explain that? Weather changes all the time, Ellie. No, I was literally standing in front of a wall of rain just outside of town. This place is hiding secrets and I know it. You just have to let me figure it out. What about Atlanta? <laughs> Atlanta was a farce and you know it. Just imagine the profit potential we have here, Miss Washington. Just let me figure out who owns the land, pull some strings, and I'll get back to you, okay? But you have to trust me. Fine. But this is your last chance. If it doesn't pan out, don't come to work on Monday. That was quick. Uh, what are you doing here? Uh, this is government property and, and you're trespassing. Did you see the lock on the front gate? Uh, yeah, I had to cut through it to get in. That's my lock. I think you're the one trespassing. Uh, and you are? Welcome back, hun. Take a seat anywhere you'd like. Actually, do you mind if I ask you a few questions? So, when did you first get to Rainy? I was born here. My parents moved here after the Vietnam War sometime. So, you must like it. You stayed here. I like it enough. I love the spawn time vibe, but seeing the same people every day gets a little boring. Yeah, well, I work in the city with the same people every day in an office, so you're not missing much. So, what brought your parents here? They retired here after the war. I think they knew someone here. My dad was a cartographer. He had maps of the world all over his office. And globes. So many globes. I can still name all the countries of the world to this day. <laughs> well, I mean, does he know anything about the land, or maybe, or something in the water? I don't think so. You mentioned he's a cartographer. My GPS can never find this place. Uh, is there any way that I can talk to him, maybe? Ask him about it? He passed 10 years ago. Who are you again? I'm Ellie Harrington. I'm visiting. I'm Ronnie. Nice to meet you. Okay. So, what exactly do you do here, Ronnie? Oh, I'm the uh, technical director of the TV studio. And what exactly does that job entail? Oh, well, you know, we do a lot of syndicated work, really. Rainy doesn't produce a lot of original content, you know, because we're a pretty small town. So normally what we'll do is we'll rebroadcast what the bigger, larger TV stations are doing. You know, that will be anything from the weather, we got the news broadcast, we'll even sometimes broadcast some of the regular TV shows that the bigger news stations are broadcasting for us. So it's real nice. Okay, and where do you get this information for the weather reports? What do you mean? Well, who provides you with the weather information? Oh, well, I'm not sure, really. Station managers, 
really the one who heads up all that. And who's the station manager? Benny Raincloud. Heck of a guy. Is that really his last name? I believe he's from Native American descent. So what about him? He's a war hero. You dang millennials. No respect. Sorry, I'm not from around here. Uh, how do you become the station manager? It's always been that way. He was in military communications back in Nam. He got sent here at some point. He seems like the right man for the job. Is there anybody else stationed here with him? Of course there was. There's Earl, he runs the umbrella shop, and Pete Moss left town. Anybody else? John Rainey. You can call me Sonny. Lower your firearms, son. We're not a threat to you. Uh, my mom, uh, the colonel, the Air Force, and I tried contacting you, but there was a there was a mix up in the paperwork, and the station was never properly decommissioned. But it looks like that was intentional. What can I say? I, I get attached to things. What is this place? The files were so vague, and everything was redacted. You um, you got some credentials. It seems like you know us, but we don't know you. Or is that on a need-to-know basis? Look, I'm just trying to do my job here, so answer my questions. I'm here because of downsizing. Raven Rock was on the list. That's a name I haven't heard in a long time. It goes by Rainy Hill now. The land was sold. We're just the uh, custodians. Listen, I just need you to sign this paperwork and I'll be on my way. I don't believe you. And this doesn't matter. You're just passing through. We're here to stay. The town keeps this place lit. But it wasn't shut down. It looks like it's been updated. On our dime, of course. All right, I'm convinced. I will just take a couple pictures of the facility and I can head out. Benny, show our friend around. Make sure he doesn't get lost. What do we have on us? Doesn't look like anything. He's right. It's all blacked out. Anything that can ruin us? Nothing that I can see. We don't have to fess up to anything. Benny? Yeah? Where is he? Just taking a few more pictures. Good job, Benny. You figure anything out yet? Yes and no. The place is secure, but still operational. What the hell is there? Nothing, just three guys. I don't know what's going on here. I don't think they even do. Who are they? Local volunteers. From where? I, I don't know, the map, the map doesn't say. Uh, it's just three guys playing cards. Get the signature civilians out. Find out who's really in charge. I'll see about flipping the switch from this end. Try to find any way to power it down there. Roger. 10-4. Over and out. Alrighty then. Alright. I'm basically wrapped up. Good to know. I uh, hope that wasn't any trouble. No. You men just need to leave with me. Cause no civilians in the station. I think it's time for you to meet the mayor. Honey, we're closing in 30 minutes. Could I help you with anything? I'm sorry? 30 minutes.
What are you doing here? <laughs> Car's still broke. You won't believe what I figured out. <laughs> what do you mean? Raven Rock? John Rainey? Nuclear blast in the Bermuda Triangle? Something called the High Frequency Active Rural Research Program? Oh, slow down. What are you talking about? Travis, you've lived here your entire life and you've never realized that your town isn't anywhere on a map. Well, it's a small town. I mean, what do you expect? A X marks the spot? I've been doing some research. goes back to World War II. The Army Corps of Engineers came here and figured out that this place is perfect for radio transmissions. Something about the mountains in the area forming some sort of natural satellite dish. I know, it's strange. Then after the Cold War, the military and NASA teamed up to do work in this area. And when I connected all the dots, it looks like they were doing nuclear testing in the Appalachians. What about the water table? Who cares? Well, somebody might. I mean, what is all this stuff? How long have you been here? Travis, why doesn't it rain here? Well, I think it does, okay? I mean, the weather report... Is always wrong. I mean, it always says the exact opposite of what's really happening outside. I bet you if I turn on the TV right now, it'll say that it's raining. Does it look like it's raining? Listen, on my way out of town this morning, I saw something. Oh yeah? What'd you see? Really? Focus. Why can't you find your town on a map? I mean, point it out to me. Show me. Well, that's simple. It's right over, um, you know, it's over. How about that wall of rain? Sorry. Sorry. No, I mean stop talking. They're listening. Who's listening? People that wrote those newspapers, the maps, the weather reports, they're all liars. John Rainey. The NSA, the FBI, all the way up to President Nixon. I knew I was onto something. You believe me, don't you? You had to have noticed something. After all of this and, uh, that old woman, uh, I don't know what to believe. I mean, it's crazy, all this. We've got to do more research. All right, research. Um, oh, I know. Why don't we go and visit the mayor? He's bound to know something, right? He's got to. Come on. We have visitors. Are you guys gonna shoot me now? <laughs> you can't shoot me until I tell the mayor about the Raven Cloud satellite. Maybe she'll be proud of me then. I love you guys. Uh, that's, that's nice, Eddie. They, they make the clouds. They, there's chemtrails and things like that. And they have some like, Plutonium pop popsicles in the hills. I go pee. I can't hang with this guy. Earl, we're not here to drink. Oh. Okay. Hey, Sonny, what is the deal with that guy? Not sure, but I predict a 100% chance of rain headed our way. 
That kid knows about the radar station. He tried to kick us out of the shack. <laughs> Listen. Does he know that I'm the mayor? Not yet. I'm gonna loosen him up a little bit. Closing up in about 15. We have a town hall meeting tonight. Yep. You want me to talk to him after that? Well, I hope he's passed out by then. Talk to him tomorrow. Sergeant Harrington, you there? Need a full report on Raven Rock? Go ahead and give me your coordinates. I'll be headed your way in the morning. You get all that, son? Mm-hmm. Good. I know I don't tell you this often, but I'm proud of you and your sister. Ever since your dad left, I've always been distant. I could never love you guys like he loved you, but I think it's time I started to try. Now go make mama proud. If you do well on this mission, next time, I'm gonna give you bullets for that gun. That's so sad. That gun doesn't have bullets. Dead guy. Dead guy is drunk. Where's Earl? He's out in the car, passed out. Well, I'm headed to the town hall meeting. Meet me there. We'll put the people's minds at ease. We'll do. Hey. Hi, I'm... Ellie, nice to meet you. You have nine minutes. Who are you? Oh, uh, I'm a Travis. What can I do for you, miss? I have some questions for you about the... I know. You've been snooping around the diner. And the library. And now, you're headed to the town hall meeting. Town hall meeting? Walk with me. I want to talk to you about the weather. It's an oddity. Get over it. Then why do you have to lie about it? You came to talk to me about small talk? No, I want answers. Weather is small talk. I led it to the TV station if you have a problem with their reporting. What about the satellite? Exactly. Talk to the TV station. It belongs to them now. How about nuclear testing, chemtrails, cloud seeding? Hmm? Loch Ness Monster? What about Sasquatch? Mr. Mayor. Please. I know about the wall. I know something's up. Listen. Just let the people have their town. Stop digging. You may get yourself hurt. Good day, Miss Harrington. Man, he really gaslighted you right there. Wait, how did he know my name? Calm down, calm down, everyone. As you know, we had a small tornado come through our town. Relax. It has been taken care of. What about that girl in the diner, asking all them questions? Yeah, what is she doing? Is she writing a book or something? And the guy that was with her, I saw them talking at the diner yesterday. <clears throat> I know there's been a lot of talk about the recent visitors invading our town. 
We're here to tell you that uh, everything's under control. We actually disposed of one of them. So if you see someone that you don't recognize, report them immediately. What is this, some sort of Nazi state? Of course not. We're trying to protect our lifestyle. The outsiders, they want our town and our land, our weather. I heard the government was in town. What are you doing about that? You're just a man. Uncle Sam can't find us. We're off the map. You got nothing to worry about. I don't think you know what you're doing. I know exactly what I'm doing. Do you now? Why are you trying to save this town? You obviously don't care about the people in this town, so why are you trying to kick people out? Ellie doesn't live here, and yet she is the only person who has ever seemed to care about me. I'm just trying to keep you safe. Why are you trying to keep this town safe when you couldn't even keep your own son safe? Things are getting spicy in here, am I right? Oh, crap. Nice to hear from you again. Miss Washington, I think I'm in trouble. The Smith deal fell through. What? How? All thanks to you. What did I do? Some of the paperwork wasn't filled out correctly. You missed some signatures. No, it's impossible. It's an easy fix, but they saw it as a red flag and pulled out. We lost the entire housing development. Ellie, you're fired. I need help. Mom. Come on, come on, pick up. Please. Hello, this is the voicemail of Colonel Harrington. I can't find the phone. You all right? Uh-uh. Rough night of that drunk tank? Uh-huh. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, me too. Except I wasn't drunk. I hate this town. I feel you. I hate my life. I'm so screwed. When did you get here? A couple days ago. You? Yep. Just this morning. God, it's one heck of a welcome committee. Yeah. This town doesn't really take too well to outsiders. Got a lot of secrets. Got a lot to hide. What do you know? Oh, well. So, Flyboy, how many? How many what? How many people know about Rainy? Is the cavalry coming? I mean, there, of course, we don't have any cavalry. If you ever want to get out of here, you're going to answer some questions. No one. Not true, son. 
Your mama knows. We didn't know about the city. We just knew about Raven Rock. I signed your damn forms. Now get out of my town. You guys have broken so many laws, it'd be illegal for me to ignore this. Who are you? <laughs> uh, my name's uh, Travis, uh, Travis Thorne. Amusement Park entrepreneur, just passing on through. Uh, you don't seem to be in any hurry. You've been here a couple weeks now. How do you know that? Got cameras everywhere. Been watching you, and everybody's wondering why you're asking questions. I would like my phone call now. <laughs> I mean, I like it here. It's a nice town. Plenty of land, you know? Yeah, we like it that way. We get a little antsy when people start to snoop. I think you two are in cahoots. God. Give me one reason why I shouldn't take you two out back and fill you with lead. Because if you did that, then the cavalry would come for me. Are you ready to answer questions? Mom? Mom? I hope I'm not a mother. Oh, Eddie, thank God. I'm in trouble. You can't be as much trouble as I am. I'm in jail. You're in jail? How did you manage that? Never mind that now. I, I'm in a town called Rainy, South Carolina. Are you kidding me? That's where I'm at. What? I thought you were in Atlanta. I can't talk about that right now. I talked to mom. No, no, don't call mom. I, I don't want her to know how bad things are. Well, then what do you want me to do? I, I don't know. I wish I went overseas like I wanted to. Working for mom hasn't really panned out. I think if I had to do it again, I think I'd rather go overseas and get shot. Just hang in there, Eddie, okay? I'm coming for you. No, don't come for me. Get out of here, get, get help. What do you want me to do? I'm stranded here. Rainy's the only town for miles. And I'm not leaving you here, okay? What's the point of family if we don't stick together? Hey, Sonny, did you find anything out? You doing all right? I messed up with Delilah. It could have been handled better. D. I hope you and Sarah are okay. I love you too so much. I miss Jimmy every day. She reminds me of him. She laughs just like him. I'm sorry. I've been so distant. I'll do whatever it takes to make that right between us. I just, I feel so bad. I raised him to love the army. And he wanted to be just like me. And then he went overseas and, and got killed. I blame myself every day for that. He thought I was a hero. He was the hero. I'm just a fake. 
Everything about me is a lie. I'm no hero, but I, I do want you and Sarah in my life. Please forgive me. I love you. Please call me. Man, I tell ya, I got no idea what's going on in this town. Uh -huh. Just when you think you know everyone, they go off and throw you in jail. I'm writing a letter. Mark my words, the mayor will hear about this. <laughs> Let me tell you what, I met this honey out there. Man, was she gullible. Her whole family must be a pack of idiots. <sighs> if I ever get out of here. Mm. Eddie? Eddie? Ellie? Ellie? Travis? Travis? Okay, we do not have time for this right now. I have to get you guys out of here. How are you going to do that? <sighs> Qu quick, get out of here. Come on, Eddie. You're free. Free? Wait, what about me? Eh, you too. Why the change of heart? I'm tired of all the secrets. Chemtrails? The satellite? Nuclear bomb testing? No. Follow me. On the back side of town, there's a hill with a radar station on top. It's called Rainy Hill. It used to be called Raven Rock. That radar station was built during World War II. So, in the Vietnam War, that's where I was stationed. I was in charge there. I had three guys under me. That's Earl, Benny, Pete. Four of us would sit there and play cards all day long. That's all we did. Well, half the time. The other half the time we went around the country telling everybody that Vietnam was not so bad after all. We met congressmen, heads of state, we fooled everyone. Even our families thought that we were in Vietnam. Then the war was over and they were done with us. They didn't need us anymore, so they gave us a bunch of money. They told us to walk away. I was so mad. They t it was time to shut down the radar station. I didn't do it. So we took our money, we bought all the land around here, and we started our own town called it rainy. I was the first mayor. Wait, so you own the land? Well, the four of us do. Me, Earl, Benny, Pete. God rest his soul. Wait a minute. What about the weather? Why is it always so nice? They call it a natural anomaly. That doesn't make any sense. I mean, if it never rains, then why are all the plants still alive? I mean, it rains, just not a lot. It's about half an hour right before sunrise. You don't even notice it. It's just enough to keep everything alive. So how did so many people get here? Over the years, a lot of meteorologists found out about this place and they retired and they started to live here. So back in Vietnam, we became friends with quite a few map makers to help us change the maps. So now when you look, you don't even know there's a town here. You just see a road in the gas station. Well, what about the umbrella shop? I was there. The umbrella factory. It's a front. No, I saw the door with my own two eyes. It's just a door. There's no factory. So what is the satellite doing? It's giving us free TV. You put me in jail for free TV? It's not just about the TV. It's about this town, the people being safe. We just want our peace. Sonny, I scoured that library for news articles about atomic weapons and cloud seeding and something called high frequency. Active auroral research program. Yeah, yeah, that's my favorite. I made that one up myself. We had a big laugh the day that we printed that in the Rainy Gazette. So let me guess, you're gonna kill us now? No. I'm just done with it. I'm tired of all the secrets. All the lies. 
I just want my family back. They're waiting for you, Sonny. Thanks. All right, everyone, let's go. You're probably wondering why I called this emergency meetings since we just had one last yeah, night. Yeah, I have customers to worry about. You may have noticed that uh, our visitors are back and uh, they, they, they are welcome. Let me explain. One of them is with the government. They know about our little town and our big secret, or what was a big secret until now. Look, our town secret is a lie. Let's just call it what it is. It's such a part of our community to lie about our town, the weather. It's right up there with Santa Claus, the Easter Bunny, Sasquatch, and me. During Vietnam, I was up on Rainy Hill the whole time. Raven Rock. I'm no hero. I'm just a weatherman. Today, the lies stop. The Air Force, they want to shut down the radar shack. And I'm going to let them. No, hold on a second. Uh, hey, everyone. My name's uh, Travis Thorne. That's T-H-O-R-N. You know, like thorn bush, thorn in your side, your foot. No, okay. Well, as you all know, um, I'm new to town. And, uh, yeah. Uh, you know what? Okay. I'm going to cut right to the chase. I work for the largest water park company in the country, and we want to build a new location right here in Rainy. Now, look, I know what you're thinking. Oh my gosh, we're gonna move everyone out, you know, of the town and take it over, yada, yada, yada. No, 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 look. You all are gonna get rich. I'm gonna get a promotion. It's a win-win situation for everyone, all right? Bada bing, bada boom, it's done. And I'll even throw in free passes for everyone here, huh? Who won't want a deal like that? Am I right? No, I'm not selling my land to you. I'll sell. No, you can't. What do you mean I can't? It's my land. I can do what I want with my land. I mean, look, I'm trying to save the town here, Sarge. You want tourists all over the place? Is that what you want? I mean, it looks like they made their decision to me. All the land is in my name. You can't sell it. What do you mean I can't sell? I mean, I lied to you. I was gonna get to that. I'm not selling. That's fine. I'll just tell everyone then about Rainy Carolina. Well, that's what the world needs is another conspiracy theory. Are you kidding me? What? You told me. I know what I said. I was working. Sorry, babe. No, you were lying. We're both after the same thing. You were after info in this place. So was I. We are not on the same page. You're in it for yourself. Look, I tried to be nice, all right? But the moment I did, they threw me in a jail cell. I was right to be cautious. That still doesn't make it right. I don't care. I am going to the TV studio and I'm shedding some light on this place. So, yeah, bye. Everybody, stop. That guy is going to the TV station to do the weather report and then he's gonna tell the world about Rainy. Wait, Raven Rock, you said the you all you use the satellite for is free TV, right? We could just turn off the transmission from there. Yeah, yeah, uh, that'll work. Um, I'd have to show you how. Well, what if you don't get there in time? Someone wants to follow him to the TV station. Make sure he doesn't go live. I could go. A little thing like you? How you gonna stop him? Don't you worry about that. I'll figure it out.
Turn here. Thanks for tuning in to WAIN, your only source for weather in the western South Carolina region. How long does it take to get there, Earl? About 20 minutes. Make it 15. Did you seriously cut my lock off? You cut my lock? Haley. Hey, we're getting close to the TV station. Where are you guys? Sonny's trying to turn the dish off. I haven't had to do this in 40 years. Ellie, I don't know how long this is going to take. You better hurry. <clears throat> oh, uh, hello, Mr. Thorne. Uh, please, go right in. Thank you so much. Okay, I should do it. Wait, let me do it. I caused all this. Did it work? How do we know if it's still alive? Uh, let's find out. Last week's show, uh, we had a lot of good emails, so I'm just waiting to see what's gonna top that. The first one comes oh, from- no. I forgot. What did you forget? In 2005, it became law to have every television transmission become digital. All we did is shut off the analog signal. Really? That's the one law you people follow? Ellie, we couldn't stop the broadcasts. It's up to you now. If the radar doesn't control the TV, then what does? Oh, oh yeah. I am envious of you. Two minutes? Gotcha. They don't know what's coming. Thanks for tuning in to You Can Cook! Tune in next week where we go over a whole new recipe. And we're out. 60 seconds for a commercial. Let's get set up for the guest weather report. Travis. Who just walked in? Ellie? Not now, babe, I'm working. We go live in 20. Whoa. You're despicable. A liar and an opportunist. You're my least favorite kind of person. Ouch, you're really hurting me. You're the kind of person that will quote bumper sticker slogans. Ten seconds. Wait, what? Five, four, oh. three. Uh, I'm Ellie Harrington, filling in for Travis Thorne, who's feeling a bit under the weather today. Um, our forecast today is brought to you by Rainy Raincoats and Umbrellas. What just happened? Rain, rain, go away? No? Well, then go get you a rainy umbrella. Uh, anyways, let's get into the forecast. So, it looks like it's raining. Ready to take two. It's actually raining. Uh, and it looks like the, the thunderstorms will be continuing throughout the night. Tapering off around 6.30 a.m. And uh, we've got a low pressure system building over here that will impact the weather for the rest of the week. But um, other than that, it, it looks like it's gonna be partly cloudy, mid 70s. So uh, I'm Ellie Harrington oh, with Wayne stop. TV. No. 
stop, stop. No, it's all a lie. It's, it's all conspiracy. It never rains here. Never. Uh, it's like flat earth or the chemtrails. It's, wait a minute. What? What? What is that? No. No! No. Think you're gonna need this. Oh, hey, you don't have an umbrella, do you? Stop it. Come here. It's good to see you. You too. Hey, with moves like that, you should join the military. Rain check? <laughs> sure, but seriously, though, you should be a weather person. Well, as you can see, it stopped raining. So what the heck happened with the radar? I'm not sure what happened, actually. I think we might have fried something. It's Mom. Uh, let me talk to her. Sarge. Status. Mission accomplished, Colonel. Ellie? You're in Brainy? Mm-hmm. Yeah, listen, I'll tell you everything when I get home. Okay. All right. I love you. Love you, too. Mission complete, Colonel. Good to know. We managed to shut off the power from this side of the satellite. Oh, interesting. Got in contact with NASA. They're interested in taking over the facility. We could use some civilian contractors in the area to assist them. Would you happen to know of any? Yeah, I can think of someone. Grandpa! I still think about my sister a lot, but it's not as bad as it used to be. My advice to anybody here would be uh, to embrace the bumper sticker phrases people tell you, even if it's painful and challenging. I would like to thank someone for a moment. I would just like to thank Ellie for helping me through this hard time. Without her, I wouldn't have been able to do it. Thank you, Charlotte. Oh, and I'm having a little get together. My parents are in town, and I'd like to invite all of you. Oh, I'll be there. Count me in. Rain check. Kind of have some plans for the weekend. What's the forecast, Earl? Get ready to hunker down. The storm is coming in sooner than we thought. Hmm. I guess we better batten down the hatches. Copy that. I'm in. Me too, fellas. All right then. Flush. Ace high. <laughs> Come to Papa. Not so fast, weatherman. Royal flush. <sighs> Look alive, everyone. We have a thunderstorm incoming. Thunderstorm? From where? From right here. Here comes the thunder. Deal me in. <laughs> <laughs> what is that's, that? That's a good watch. That's 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 digital. Good. Deal them in. Yeah. Whatever you do, all right? Uh, I can do that. I'm going to take it off your hand. <laughs> so. What's it going to be? I'm tuning in, this truth is a lie, flush it out, to four of a kind, it's a sunny day, in rainy Carolina, the folks bring keep on digging, to 
save this town We power town Clouds roll as the secrets unfold Weatherman plays a tornado hand But it's a sunny day In rainy Carolina Oh, it's a sunny day In rainy Carolina Thank you, girls. As usual, you did a great job. And if any of you are interested in being a guest forecaster, please be sure to visit our website. Thank you so much for tuning in to Rainy Today. And now let's check in with Rivers Bottom to get a look at our seven-day forecast. Good morning, Rainy Carolina. It is your host, Rivers Bottoms. Uh, curious forecast, pineapples. However, outside it is raining cats and dogs. I just saw a man step in a poodle and in some kind of cat. It might have been a Siamese. This evening at about 6 o'clock, we're going to see canned ham. Not just ham. At about 9 o'clock, that's going to be followed by some spam. After that, some yams around 11.30 at night. Holy goodness. All kinds of ams falling out of the sky in the p.m. Ha <laughs> ha. What? All right. This is Rippers Bottoms coming to you. I slept on pineapple and spam mix on ground. My uh, leg is sprained. You said what else? And poison ivy riding on the inside of my thigh. It raises higher and higher with every little hobble. It's raining coffee. God bless America. Raining light roast blonde coffee all day. Going to have a great rush. And then around day 30, it's going to be light showers.